guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons of Fiction. Today we are going to talk about Daisy Buchanan. Daisy Buchanan is one of the main characters in the 1925 novel The Great Gatsby. She is the leading character's love interest, um, a woman who the main character, Jay Gatsby, fell in love with. He then had to go to war, but she promised to wait for him until he returned. It turns out that she in the meantime, got married and had a child. So he returns and he makes a really big effort to gain a lot of wealth in order to impress her and maybe win her heart back. There have been lots of adaptations of The Great Gatsby. There have been plays and movies made. Of course, all with their own interpretation of Daisy's looks. That is because there is not much of a description of the way she looks in the books. She is, of course, beautiful and elegant, and um, it is said that she had a beautiful voice and that she had dark, shiny hair, which is odd because I believe in all of the movie adaptations, she has blonde hair. Daisy is a socialite, so I assume that she would have a quite modern look for the time, the 1920s. So I decided to go for this look today to kind of imitate her, a quite classic 20s makeup and hairstyle. So let us jump straight into the makeup tutorial. I am going to start with a base of foundation to even out my skin tone and I'm going to apply some concealer on my dark circles to conceal those as well. Then I'm going to powder everything off to make sure my face is nice and matte and everything stays in place. And then it's time to move on to eyebrows. Eyebrows are very important in a 20s look. Eyebrows are quite iconic for the look. Oh, one more thing that is mentioned in the books about her looks is that she looks um, sad and beautiful. A sad kind of sad eye is very iconic for the 20s. Women drew their eyebrows that way. They kind of accentuated their eyes that way in that kind of downward sad shape. So I'm going to try and make my eyebrows kind of look like that a little bit more. So I'm taking a little bit of eyebrow gel and I'm going to make my eyebrows look as narrow as possible, just to make them look as thin as possible without having to actually pluck them. And then I'm going to take an eyeshadow that is the same color as my eyebrow and I'm going to extend my eyebrows. And then I'm going to take some concealer and I'm actually going to make my eyebrows a little bit less arched. My own eyebrows are quite arched naturally, so I'm going to try and remove a little bit of that. So I'm going to take this concealer onto the highest point of my eyebrow and also onto the lowest point in the front of my eyebrow. Alright, so when the eyebrows are done, I'm moving on to eyeshadow. Now, uh, I'm going to keep it quite light here because most women in the 20s wouldn't have worn such heavy eyeshadow as we now associate with the 20s. That was just very much a flapper girl thing. So I'm going to keep it a little bit more natural and just take a grey eyeshadow and apply this into my crease to deepen it up a little bit. And I am going to swoop this in a kind of diagonal shape to again accentuate that kind of sad eye shape. And then I'm going to make another diagonal line from the center going to the inner corner of my eye and I'm also going to take this eyeshadow onto the outer corners of my eyes just a little bit and the inner corners as well just to give my eye a little bit of dimension but again keep everything quite soft and natural as far as that's possible with grey eyeshadow of course. So I'm going to apply that same grey eyeshadow underneath my eyes as well. There was a lot of emphasis on the lower lash line in the 20s so I'm continuing that into my mascara application. I'm going to apply a just a normal layer on my top lashes and I'm going to go really heavy on my lower lashes make them almost spidery, that was really in back then in the 20s. Alright, so for the lips I'm going to start by kind of erasing them with a little bit of concealer before I take my lip liner pencil and I'm going to draw this typical 20s lip shape. So I'm going to start by making a V in the center of my cupid's bow and then I'm going to make this very pointy cupid's bow on each side and extend my lip towards my uh, towards the corner of my mouth, but just make it very very thin. Small thin lips were all the rage back then, so we want to imitate that. And I'm going to make my bottom lip a lot smaller than my natural lip is as well. And then fill everything in with this lip liner pencil. Alright, so that is the makeup all done, now moving on to the hair. Now, 1920s hair is quite tricky. I always struggle with it quite a lot, especially on my long hair. This is a hairstyle that's not made for long hair, but I'm going to try my best to imitate it anyway. Have another go at finger waves, which I cannot get down for the life of me. I'm gonna try as best as I can. So to start, I am going to load my hair up with styling mousse. So when I've applied a lot of that and spread it out throughout my hair, I'm going to make a low side parting. 
and start making my finger waves. So in order to do this, I'm going to maneuver my comb into the shape of the curl. When I have made just one curl, I'm going to hold that down with my fingers and slide a clip in there to make sure this one wave kind of holds the shape. Then I'm going to hold down the clip and take my comb again, make another wave and again clip that down. And I'm going to make one more. And those are my finger waves done for one side. So I'm going to spray this with hairspray like there's no tomorrow. And then move on to the other side. So then I'm going to do the same thing. Only I'm going to start my first curl going upwards instead of downwards. So just form my curl with my comb, hold it down and slide a pin in there. Sprayed with a lot of hairspray and that's my second finger wave done as well. So I'm not going to try and do this on the back of my hair, I just know it won't work. So the back of my hair I'm just going to comb smooth, divide into two sections and make a super short faux bob. So in order to do this I'm going to take one of the two sections I have in the back, roll it up with my fingers and make this kind of almost sausage roll and I'm going to pin that to the nape of my neck with a lot of bobby pins to make sure this doesn't go anywhere. But the mousse also helps with that. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other piece of hair as well, just roll all of the hair up and pin it down and at the nape of my neck. Then I am going to work on these front sections and I'm going to roll those up as well and kind of try to incorporate them into the back of my hair. So I'm going to roll these up a little bit more neatly because they will form the end of my roll and will actually be kind of visible. So I'm just rolling them up again, pinning them, and this time I'm pinning them to that other roll because there is not much um, hair left there. I'm pretty much just sticking these to my neck now, so I need to use that other roll to anchor this in. Same thing on the other side. Okay, so then it is time to remove my clips and see how my finger wave came out. So I'm just going to carefully slide up my clips and then kind of arrange this hair so that it looks nicely. I'm also going to redo the waves a little bit on the top here because this piece in front is too loose. But that's no problem, you can do that, luckily. So just spray more hairspray, wait for that to set and when everything is dried, I'm going to take them all out again and there is my... 1920s Daisy Buchanan look completely done, so I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Beauty Beacons of Fiction videos. If you have any requests for fictional beauty icons that you would like me to recreate the looks of, please leave them down in the comments below. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!